Hey guys, this is Spark Plus Ultra here, and this is my part two on what if Deku had Lapras power, the hero in the sea. And I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. Sumi, Midoriya, and Jiro walk to Class 1A together, gossiping and pretty much excited for what they would do. Zumi and Jiro got to class 1 and it about works as nothing really happens besides Bakugo, well being Bakugo and you know, arguing. Zumi gets ready to get some training on quirk excitement where Get to uh, examine the quirks, and Zumi is up first because she has gone first place on saving and taking down villains. And Zumi, it's the first time she threw something with her powers, I guess. So. Zumi throws it as hard as she can and then uses a creates a icy wind that blows the ball to the edge of the court, making it to 10,872 meters. And all the students were cheering and saying, huh, this is going to be easy, this is going to be and Zoa says, fun, huh, let me give a good guess, if you can beat the last place, won't get into last place, then you won't get expelled, and all the students were shocked on hearing it. And Zumi is also in shock. But when Su Jiro gets back to in line, Jiro says, Way to go, Zumi. That was a nice throw. And Zumi says, Uh, thanks. I think. It won't affect anything. And Jiro says, Your throw is impressive on how you utilize your ice manipulate. And Sumi says, Thanks. I don't think I have good score. Rubbing her head in a bit of shyness. Then Bakugo goes up and says okay now let's get show you what real power is and then there was a energy around Bakugo's arm and then Bakugo says, Full curling. And throws the ball with adding to explosion with it, making it about 17,925 meters. <laughs> Now, we're talking. I'll be number one on the scoreboard, you supports. And Zumi and all the class were impressed. And so then on how the preliminary scores are. Zumi takes up about somewhere to a second place 
because her ice and water manipulation can be utilized in very utilitary way. And thanks to her polymesiosaur, she can have strength with just one grip. Hey, she may be aquatic lizard, but she still has a punch in her. <laughs> Bakugo says, how am I not in first? And Jiro whispers, maybe it's because your attitude. Zumi chuckles a bit and Bakugo says, oh, big talk to a sound beam. And Jiro says, sound beam? Listen here. And Sumi says, okay, you two, stop it. And Jiro says, no, this is what he's getting. Listen, Mr. thinks he's number one. That attitude, you're not going to be in a very high degree. You need to learn some manners. And Bakugo getting a little pissed off saying Oh Is that right now? Let me we'll see about that sound beam and you too Policia Shit And Sui gets to a very sad but also a bit of a little concerning about that. Policia shit? Where did he even get that? Somewhere. She's trying to comprehend on what he's saying. On what he tries to insult. And Zumi says, don't let that guy get full of your head. But Jiro looks at Zumi and says, fine. But if he keeps on doing this, I'm swear to God, I'm going to give him a big beam of sound into his head. And Zumi says, please don't. Zumi, all of class 1A has passed the exam. And Manetta is still in. That was a lie that Azawa said. Zumi and Jiro are in the seat where and then they hear All Might coming in. Don't worry, because I am here. And All Might says, Walking like a true hero. All the class cheers. And Sumi was amazed on how he looks. And All Might says, It's time to get your hero gear on and do some training. And all the class 1A gets into their hero gear. Zui was wearing some modified swim gear and with a bit of a elegancy. Like, um... Not like uh, one of those uh, balms, I guess, ball dresses, but one of those um, modified swim dress gowns. Jiro is in her punk ride, punk vibe, and both Zumi and Jiro have a 
bit of diversity. As you might you think, Jiro has the punk ro vibe. And Zumi has the somewhat elegancy swimming vibe. Meaning they have different music vibes, but they still like their oh, other musics. And Zumi gets a very excited look and says, This is the first time I wanted to wear this. And Jiro says, Really? <laughs> I thought that gear looks similar. Didn't you draw that one since you, you were a kid? And so he says, Ah, no! Don't bring up that memory. And trying to erase that. That was a long time ago. And I... And it was mostly my singing day dress. I wasn't like, expecting to get to a hero style. Scratching her head. And Jiro says, <laughs> Well, you're in a hero. So much for that. And Zumi says, Right. Then All Might explains the rules. Both two teams are going to be randomized with their own partner. A hero team versus villain team. Which team can get stop the bomb? Villain team will protect the bomb, and hero team must stop it. Then All Might draws the cards, and Zumi is paired up with Bakugo. Zumi looks at Bakugo, and Bakugo says, Why am I teaming up with Shitty Plesiosaur? And Zumi says, Still hurts, son. They sing, but Zumi then creates water in this sweat. And Bakugo says, I can do things better than her. Then no explosion just comes out of his palms. And Zumi says, What's the matter? Don't have any water in you? And Bakugo says, What the? Why is my- Why is there no explosions coming out of my paw? And Sumi says, smirks and says, Hmm, <laughs> I turned them back into normal water. And Bakugo says, What? Oh, you're gonna ask for it. Uh -uh -uh. That's... You be nice. Pretty much giving a lecture to Bakugo and trying to be nice and she will stop using her quirk on Bakugo and Bakugo says I'll give you something and Sumi then freezes Bakugo's legs and Bakugo says you're dead and Sumi says, I'll stop it if you, you stop it. And Bakugo says, fine, but I'm not making any promises. Then Zumi says, team, putting her hand up for a shake. And uh, Bakugo sighs, saying, oh, fine. But this is a temporary. You got that? And both of them shake hands. And Zumi says, All right, let's do this. And 
I'm ending this video right here. I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. See you next time, Plus Ultra.